All right, cool kids. Today we're going to be talking about giraffes. Why? Because giraffes are the most underrated animal out there. There's no other animal quite like giraffes. Except for my buddy Curtis, who uh, looks very similar for some reason. Now, these giraffes are quite unique because not only are they very long neck boys, but they also have tiny horns on their head and their thick skulls. This is used to crush anyone who stands in their path. Very cool. Now, giraffes didn't always have long necks. For millions of years, these mystical creatures had long legs and short necks. Over time, they evolved to have longer necks, and there's two main theories as to why this happened. The first one is probably the most obvious one. Uh, you probably heard it in elementary school. Uh, giraffes have long necks so they can eat the leaves off the high trees. Right, they have the height advantage so they eat the higher leaves so they always have a food source. Always being able to have food is an interesting idea. Anyone who has seen this majestic creature in the wild nibbling away on uh, top of a tree has to marvel in the wonder of evolution. The giraffe's long neck is a perfect adaptation of the animal's natural habitat. Clearly the giraffe evolved this way, right? Uh, it's uncommon and helpful trait in order to reach those nourishing, tasty leaves. That's how natural selection works, right? Well, the new theory, the second theory, is that uh, scientists are now starting to believe that um, it's a matter of natural selection. The giraffes fight by beating each other upside the head with their necks. This is called necking. You know that thing you never got to do in high school? It's the same word. Male giraffes whip their neck around and use their heavy skulls and horns to attack unsuspecting giraffes. The longer and thicker the neck, the more likely the giraffe is to win a fight. Giraffes that are successful in fights are more likely to mate and produce offspring. So yes, in the giraffe world, bigger is always better actually. Very cool, very cool. Very cool. Uh, it seems to be a combination of two theories that would really explain why giraffes have such long necks, food, uh, mating, and survival. So with these combinations of two theories, we now have a full understanding of why giraffes have such a long neck. Are you interested in low budget videos about animals, YouTubers, and whatever I feel like talking about? Well, I have a trade offer here for you where if you subscribe, I will give you these videos on a weekly basis while I attempt to become a YouTuber. If you're interested, please hit that red button and I will get, and I will get to work on this very cool deal. The next video will be about the presidential pets. And before I go, please check out my uh, company. It's called Sock Bear. I sell socks online and I donate a portion to uh, endangered animals. Uh, companies like WWF get this uh, $1 from every single sale. So it's an interesting project that I've started and uh, I'm hoping to help out a lot of animals along the way. Uh, if you're interested, the link's in the description. Thanks.